Serato Scratch Live is the ultimate solution for bridging the analog world of vinyl with the digital world of computer audio files. Using traditional vinyl turntables, Scratch Live allows the playback and manipulation of digital audio files. Now you can leave your large and precious vinyl at home. All you need is a digital music collection and your computer. In 2008, Serato released the first major plugin for Scratch Live, Video SL. This allows the user to play video files in a similar fashion to audio files. It also allows for mixing and adding effects to the videos. This is the projector I will be using to display Scratch Live's master video output window, or in simpler terms, display the videos I want my audience to see. This is the VGA port. Now I'm going to plug my VGA cable into that VGA port on the projector. At the end of the VGA cable, I have a VGA to DVI adapter, which I am then going to plug into the DVI port of my laptop. to select system preferences and then displays and detect displays and it will then detect the projector there we go. and now the projector registers the computer's monitor out signal through the VGA cable Now I'm going to hook up the MIDI controller, which controls variable actions and commands in Scratch Live Video SL. This fully programmable MIDI controller hooks up to your computer through a USB connection. Now I'm going to hook up my external hard drive which has a terabyte of memory, mostly filled up with music videos. It needs to be attached to a direct power supply as well as through USB connection to my computer. Push me and then just touch me till I can get my satisfaction. At this point, it is time to hook up the Serato Scratch Live interface box. These are your inputs. You plug the RCA cables from your turntables into the corresponding input sockets. You plug your left turntable into input 1 and your right turntable into input 2. Take the digital line output signal from Scratch Live and plug it into the digital line input on the mixer on your desired channel. In this case, the left turntable is plugged into channel 3 and the right into channel 4. The through options on Scratch Live are used to play regular vinyl. They allow you to bypass the software sending the audio directly to the inputs of your mixer. You connect the through outputs on Scratch Live to the phono inputs on the mixer. Scratch Live is connected to the computer through USB. Now it's time to set up the turntable. 
Take the needles out of their cases and attach them to the tone arms. Remove the needle's protective cap and unlock the tone arm. Special time-coded 12-inch vinyl records are used with this software. They have a unique Serato-exclusive continuous control signal allowing Scratch Live to track the record's motion. This simulates the same movement with the digital track. Put the needle on the record and turn the turntable on. Also turn the mixer on and make sure the other turntable is on as well. It is now time to open Scratch Live by clicking on the icon. Before you can begin loading and playing tracks, you must calibrate Scratch Live. You do this by entering the setup. After you enter setup, the scopes will appear. You want to make the lines look as clear and round as possible before continuing. To open Video SL, click on the video icon above the track list. Several video viewing areas, as well as the master video output window, will appear on your screen. Drag the window to the side of the screen. This causes the projector to detect the video signal and display it. Make the window full screen. There are two ways to select a track. The first way, and the quickest way, is to hold the command key and click either the left key for the left turntable or the right key for the right turntable. You can also click and drag. Now you can see that the video from the left turntable appears on the projector screen. From this point, you can move the record forward and backwards, manipulating the attached MP4 audio video file. The horizontal waveforms shown in the above window represent the lows, mids, and highs of the attached sound frequency. Each button on this fully programmable MIDI controller has been pre-programmed to trigger an action or command in Scratch Live. For example, the up faders gradually bring the video signals in or cut the signals out. As a result, you have two videos gradually blending together on one screen. Another pre-programmable MIDI command feature is the looping of either a 4, 8, 16, or 32 beat section of a selected song. Pressing the programmed loop button on the MIDI controller triggers the loop feature in Scratch Live. The most unique feature of Video SL is the extensive selection of effects, which are available at the touch of a button through the programmable MIDI controller. There are two main buttons that control the Video SL effects. One selects the desired effect, 
while the other acts as a toggle switch, triggering or bypassing the system.